Hi! In this video, we will secure a React application with Keycloak Security. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified on new video uploads. To start this tutorial, you may check out the React project in the reference section, or you can create your own React project from scratch using Create React App from Facebook. For this demo, we will use the project from GitHub. Before running the React application, we first need to configure the Keycloak server for security. First is run the Keycloak on terminal. For this tutorial, I'm using Docker and I'm running Keycloak on another machine. So later on when we access the Keycloak in the browser, we will be using the network IP. Once Keycloak is running, it should be accessible on its network IP, which in my case is that seven, And I'm running on a default port, which is port 8080. If you notice when I ran Docker, Docker Keycloak, I set the username and password to admin admin. And then we need to import the Realm configuration as well as the users from the Spring Keycloak with REST API project, which is available in the reference section. The files should be available in the config folder. So here is our Realm configuration, prime react-app-realm. Hit create and uh, it should create our Realm. Make sure that you have under clients, you have prime react client and the access type should be confidential. Also make sure that you have a secret key under credentials because sometimes it's not auto generated. So you have to regenerate the secret if that is the case. And then check the installation tab and under the format option, select OIDZ JSON. So this is your Keycloak.json configuration that you should copy and paste in your Angular application. So let's check it. As we can see, we are using the Prime React Realm. And uh, the server is that six for 8080. The common cause of mistake in this section is the secret. So in this case, validate that they are the same. So 98, 75, 98, 75, they are the same. And then finally, import the users because right now we don't have any users created yet. But for the sake of this exercise, I already created three users that we will need in our demo. So we have admin which is which has an admin role user carry is just a regular user and no role is a user with no role attachment so this is our admin user which has an admin role as well as user the other one is carry which is a member which has a role user and finally the no role is not a member is does not have either admin or user role and then the react project so if you clone the github project in the reference section you should have something like this this project is already complex so i want you to focus on the files inside the framework and the api services folder i'm using a free React template or layout from Prime Phases. As with most of the React project, index.js is the entry point for this application. Here are the most notable files that handle, runs the app, and uh, handle the security. Under Redux, under Framework, under Redux, we have the application store where the store is configured also here we define both middlewares 
and enhancers. We have middleware for crash reporter and uh, we have this monitor reducer enhancer which are defined here. This one reports the crash using Raven library and our, in our enhancer I'm just monitoring the time it takes for an action to be executed. So that's why I have the start and the end time. You can define your custom enhancers and middlewares that you think you will need in your application. Next is dispatch. Here we define the most, or, or I think the most, yeah, I think the global action definition like the loading action, success action, error action, fatal action, loading, etc. So I also define here the done and success that I mostly use after calling an API. Then we have the reducers. These are our, this is our global reducers. And then under modules, we have authorization, which is, I think, the most, one of the most important javascript file that we have because in here we do key cloak initialization and actions are defined like refresh initialize token logout so these are the functions that we will need to initialize and configure key cloak then we have the customers where we define the reducer and the action creators for the customer module. Next, we should take a look at phages and our, under phages, we have the secure layout, which is basically these codes are mostly from the template that we have from prime paces. This is an HOC, which is higher order component basically we this is a wrapper so it wraps our component with the layout that is defined here that's why you can see here that this wraps that component so this is our component and we wrap it with this layout so basically it's an hoc layout template for secure phages so later on i'll show you two phage that one is secure and one is not but before that let's take a look at the remaining javascript files these secure routes it's also it's also an hoc this one deals with securing which with actually securing the page so if you will look at here it has a secure component parameter this is our actual component that we are securing that's why you will see it here that if the request is authenticated we return the secure component otherwise we redirect to 401 path so what happens here is is we have an effect that has a parameter token and set authentication context. So this is actually a method from our app.js file. This sets the authentication context. So what happens here is that when the token is empty, it will authenticate the request. So on first access in a secure page, it will initialize the key cloak library. And in this case, since we are using onload equals login required, it will redirect to the login page. After that, so here we are waiting for the login to happen. And once that is validated, we call the set out context where the parameter is the key cloak instance that we set here so this is the parameter the auth context 
and uh, we we initialize we call the authorization actions that initialize after that so here we initialize the variables that we will need later on like the uh, login login url log out and then we dispatch the action here we also set the, the token the user and the key cloak instance and finally we have this customers folder which contains our customer component yeah, this is, these are our customer components. So this contains the customer list, which lists customers from the API. So I'll create another video tutorial that we'll call a REST API that will return a list of customer. So let's run our React project. In this case, I think I already ran the application and you can run that by executing or by typing npm start and access lolos and the default port is for 3000. So what happens here? This is just a very basic page. This is The home page, this is a default page, which is the home page. So I'm using a location, the location library. You can check that out in my package JSON uh, definition. So I have here, yeah, some location library. Yep, React app location. So if you want to take a look on that library, it's very useful because you can define your location path in a common file so here i have location which is the default the landing page for the application so that's why it redirects to the home component and what does home component contains it's a very basic component just does that just render this page and in this component, we have a link to a secured page, which is the customers. If you will notice, this home component extends component and we just export the home component compared to this customer list. Again, this is a uh, functional component because I don't need uh, to extend a component class. And uh, this is the important par part for this component. Here, we wrap the customer list component with secure layout and with security. So this is how you will use a higher order component that we discussed earlier. So as mentioned, we have a customer list, which is our secured which is the component that we want to secure and then we have an hoc with secure layout meaning we will wrap this customer list with secure layout and again this is our secure layout so here we didn't change we didn't override the customer list component that we have what happens is that we wrap the customer list component by this new component that's why we have it here so this is the secure layout and the connected layout which is actually this one so we have i created another hoc here which is the loading screen which basically which basically draws or renders a busy loading while is loading is false so this is from the the page state so maybe you're still uh, doing some requests by uh, rest api so while is loading is true it will show the busy loader and you can see that here this is 
a Firefox browser and uh, regardless of what browser you, you're using Firefox or Chrome, you should install uh, Firebug and uh, Redux. The React Redux uh, plugin lets you see the actual state that we have in the page shown in the browser. So in this case, we have page and that is this state page. It has a variable is loading, which is set to false. And then we wrap the secure layout, which is basically just this component that we have here and inside that new component we render the secure component which is the customer list so again what happens here is that we have a customer list and uh, we wrap that customer list with a secure layout because this secure layout is a common layout that we will use in all the components that we that are secured and then we have this with security which basically uh, initialize our uh, at first our keycloak instance so if if you access this customer list and uh, it's and you are not yet authenticated it will redirect you to the login page so enough of the discussion, let's see that in action. So here, this is our uh, secured customer list, or this is our home page. This is our uh, default landing page, which is the home page, and it is defined in the components here, home.js. So when we click the customers, we can log in here. Let's say, let's log in as carry, carry. Our three user is admin, admin, carry, carry, and no role, no role. Hit login, and we should be able to see the customer page because this page is secure. So this is Lolo's customers log out. And uh, if you try to access, that URL, it should redirect to the login page. And we are successfully able to secure our page. Again, let's try with the admin. So we are successful. This is a secured page and our uh, Keycloak. And this is authenticated by Keycloak. In the next video tutorial, we will discuss how this react project can call a rest api powered by spring so that's why we already prepare a data table here this will be populated by data that is requested or will come from a rest api and then we will also discuss how we can secure the routes or secure the api by a roles so that's why we have here a button which should be only accessible by the role user and role admin i think that's it for this video i hope you learned something and if you do don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell icon to get notified when i upload the next video that is related to this one thank you and bye